everyone, it's Glory Shree Henry, and welcome to my channel. I don't know. So, I don't know how to do my hair anymore. It's just how it's gonna be. I actually wanted to talk to you guys about something. Um, a lot of you have noticed this, but this is just in case some of you have never ever come across this and you do one day. I am not a before picture, and I might be to you. I might look like I need to be a before picture to you, but I'm not, and I don't think that it's a good thing when companies out there use pictures of me as a before and use some other stranger as an after and all of a sudden they're confident because they're thin. You are messing up a lot of things for people who have worked so hard to be confident their entire lives by making me look like I'm miserable because I'm fat, making me look like I'm unhealthy when you don't know anything about me. You're making up this story to make this end product of a stranger who is thinner than me, who is still beautiful. You're making this person look like thin is what makes you happy. No matter how much dieting you do, if you don't fix what you don't like about yourself, what's actually bothering you before you diet, like, I know from experience that it doesn't work that way. When these companies say things like, oh, this before picture, this fat girl who's so sad and insecure and ugly lost weight, she all of a sudden became this thin girl who's full of confidence with no problems in the world. It doesn't work that way. They're showing the girls who are struggling the only way out of their problems is to be thin. That's not true. It's not true at all. Everyone knows that you need to work on yourself, not necessarily just physically, to be in that mindset where you're okay with yourself. And here, here's another thing. It's one thing to talk about me, but it's another thing to bring my husband into this. A lot of people have messaged me as soon as I see these stupid ads like by Women's Health or by these supplement brands or these fake gyms using me as the insecure, sad victim of a horrible relationship where my boyfriend or ex-army husband or whatever they're making Allie to be leaves me because of my size and all of a sudden he comes crawling back to me. Put these ads out there to make him look horrible. They bring him into the mix and it's not okay. His job is not to make YouTube videos. He has a life outside of this. I have a life outside of this and it's not okay for these companies to be taking these pictures without doing their research and making ads and posting pictures about us saying, oh yeah, he was a horrible guy. And <laughs> the fa what really bothers me, like the thing that bothers me the most is that people who don't know who we are will comment on these things, on these threads, and you'll see threads like, leave him, girl, he's a horrible human. Our whole relationship has been tons of, oh, it must suck to know that, you know, you're with someone because of a fetish, or, oh, gosh, that's so nice of him to be with you, or, gosh, you're such a lucky girl, Gloria. Like, <laughs> I am lucky, I am truly blessed, but there's a lot of, these companies make up this fake persona, and people who don't know him, believe that it's true. Everyone who has watched my videos and our videos know that he's not some ex-army person or he's <laughs> he's not some random guy who left our unborn baby. Like, how? And I'm not even making this up. You know what we're like. So thank you for bringing them to my attention. It's wrong. It's not okay. Most recently, I think the most recent thing has been about this account. And I'm just gonna tell you right now because just in case any of you follow this account, I don't think it's okay that they have it because if mine wasn't true, who else's post isn't true? They are called, they're called Transformation Feed on Instagram. And the caption for a picture of us is, her transformation after leaving an abusive boyfriend is the most inspiring I've seen today. While the lady in the picture to the right is gorgeous. <laughs> it's not true. To any of you who are following things like transformation feed and and seeing these websites full of horror stories of people who have such abusive husbands, especially if you like don't know the people, don't just assume that's what it is. Do your research and these 
like don't I know that if you don't know who the people are you're just gonna assume and that's what happens that's because of these companies who do things like this and seeing that stuff seeing you as a before picture especially if you're plus size or you're not conventionally beautiful and then seeing an after picture and all of a sudden this after picture is so happy like that's not reality it's not true it's fake it's stupid it's disgusting and don't listen to them don't look at these pictures and think that you can't be happy the way you look right now again <laughs> The last thing I want to say is companies do your damn research because it's wrong, especially if you, if you, why would you sell lies to people? Why is it okay to lie to people? Why is it okay to, to say that I met my husband on a website and use a picture of us that you don't have permission to use, first of all, when it's clearly not how we met? In cases where you are worrying about whether or not you are okay and you're acceptable like this, like you, don't let those pictures of supplements and transformations get to you. It especially doesn't help people who are struggling with their self-image. So that's what I wanted to say about that. Just for future reference to any of you who have done research, thank you so much for bringing these ads to my attention and Allie's attention. And I will see you guys later in a not so ranty video maybe perhaps who knows <laughs> thank you guys so much see you later i appreciate your support especially to those of you who know that this stuff is not true okay i will talk to you later bye